what's going on guys we are here in the bush here in kenya on an adventure The view is nice. Yeah, yeah, the view is nice. What's going on guys? Welcome back once again to Kisio Global Village. And so today I am here in Kenya. And since I love my veggies, I love my greens. And so today I come to the garden to pick some fresh greens. I mean, relatively speaking, uh, most of the greens are grown local uh, here in Kenya. And so, uh, but the, the thing about this here, instead of going to the market, I'm actually coming here to, to get some greens. So, you know, we have to eat healthy, eat for life. And uh, the best way to do it is to actually grow your own food. And so um, self-sustainability is very important. Uh, food security is very important. It doesn't matter where you are. And so um, healthy foods also is very important for the body. And so these greens, um, they're high in nutrients. And so they're gonna help to maintain this uh, amazing physique. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys are ready. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys around. As you can already see, I'm like behind this cornfield. So this is like, everybody grows things here. You know, they grow, um bananas corn all types of greens and so um let's get to it let's go all right guys so right now we're in the garden and so we're picking spinach i guess they call it day day here um there's like so many different varieties which i'm not familiar with so right now my i, I would say that my my my, my eyes in this field is like a virgin you know what i mean i don't really know everything i'm looking at so um so i'm just kind of picking right now as you can see and this is actually wild okay so this is indigenous food and so one of the main things is many times people consume like uh um, hybrid foods that are not wild you know it's more like uh, cultured and so this is like the indigenous to the land and so this this is what makes this food so great because you know we're eating you know the wild foods the wild greens the wild herbs and so um, it is better for your overall health I know these days people don't really care so much as to you know what they consume they just go to the grocery stores and they don't even have an idea as to where the food comes from and so these days like for example if you ask the average person like young person maybe like maybe let's say they were born maybe in the 2000s you ask them where where does your food come from they'll tell you it comes from the grocery store like um if you ask them where where the apple comes from or it comes from walmart or whatever you know um whatever local stores and so it's important to for many people to be acclimated to the field so that you can have an understanding of your environment to live in synergy with nature you know to live in connection and harmony with nature and so um that is the key to life you know not that for example eating these greens is gonna make you live 200 years i mean some people they eat garbage and they still live a long life and so um i don't necessarily think that for example the food makes you live longer than the next person per se but what it does um it does something to your mind to your spirit and and, and living a clean life um allows you to have a have a clear mind and i think it's not so much about 
the length of time that someone lives it's about the quality of life that you live and so um living that quality of life um, is also um, enabled by eating quality food having quality experiences these things allow you to enjoy life to live a life of joy and 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 and, and tranquility and so yeah i mean being in this field here i just want to go buy me a tent pitch my tent and sleep here and 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 roast me some corn and eat some nyama choma nyama choma that's what they call it yeah. nyama choma yeah all right some of you if you watch it online go look up nyama choma um, which is a traditional kenyan dish you know just enjoy life here in the bush there's a river down there okay i can go bathe in the river and uh and just live in the wild you know what i mean <laughs> anyway guys listen um we are here nairobi kenya not just nairobi we we are in kenya i'm not even gonna just say nairobi we're in kenya you know and so we're just enjoying life and so uh today we came to the garden picking some greens to to eat guys right now i'm picking a different variety of spinach this one is called managu okay as you can see this is managu this is a, also another green and you can make it with the terere all right and eat it so guys i'm doing my i'm, I'm doing my grocery shopping right now <laughs> mind you i mean this is like you know 60 shillings you know that's before taxes <laughs> 60 shillings before taxes you know what i mean so pick the fresh ones huh? okay yeah the fresh ones the the the, the fresh ones so as you can see right here this is managu all right so we're going to enjoy ourselves some greens and so as you can see guys we are here in the field in the beautiful country of kenya and so the soil is fertile and managu is also wild right yeah. okay yeah so it's, it's wild as you can see so i mean there's so many options you know so many options you know listen karibu kenya what can we say <laughs> all right let's go all right guys once again i just uh finished picking my greens so um this is managu right here and most of this is terere greens and so uh we want to enjoy this okay so thank you guys once again for watching kiska global village and so we are here in the field in the garden here in kenya picking some indigenous foods some wild foods so eat healthy live healthy and be healthy see you soon peace